Well, hello, I'm back, and I think I'll title this entry into my video series. This is Karen's Kombucha Coventure. KKK. Oh, not a good KK. But um, you probably have heard of kombucha. If you haven't, go to Whole Foods or some other health store and you'll see kombucha. And I tried it probably a couple years ago. I didn't like it, but I bought it, so I drank it. And so I kept hearing more stuff about kombucha. It has probiotics. Every time I hear probiotics, I'm like, oh, let me check that out. So I attended a workshop at my church, and they talked about how to make kombucha. So I have my little instructions here, and I've been doing this now for the past year or so. And this is a one gallon container containing my kombucha with my SCOBY, this ugly white thing, which looks like a bald head up top here. But SCOBY stands for Symbiotic Colony of Bacteria and Yeast. Now I know why they say SCOBY because the whole thing I just said sounds really unappetizing. And uh, check it out here. It does look pretty gelatinous. A little unappetizing but you don't have to eat this that's the good thing you don't eat this so I'm gonna this is something I have done so this is not experimental although I'm gonna try some new things today but I've uh, been letting the SCOBY eat its nutrients so its nutrients are sugar which I use coconut sugar because I'm trying to get away from regular sugar it still eats it, it'll eat any kind of sugar. And then it feasts also on tea. So uh, what I usually do when I make this is that I um, have a big thing like this in the one gallon, then I will make some new stuff in the half a gallon. So let's see here. I am going to transfer, every time you make some, you wanna transfer some of the uh, kombucha stuff. That sounds really good. Uh, you want to transfer some of this to the next, to keep it going. It's like a little culture, starter culture. So I'll make sure I set some of that aside. And now I'm going to fill my bottle. So I just, I bought a bunch of these bottles. They're all lined up here. And I will just start filling them. Now what do I put in there? Because that's kind of the fun experimental part. So um, I like to put some ch ch, -ch, -ch in there just because it's something fun. But I will say, I will say this, when you drink the kombucha, and now I know why, I see I've gotten used to it, so now it's like, what's the big deal? But now I realize when I have friends over, I'm like, hey, you wanna try some of this? They're like, oh, okay. But then they're like, thanks, and the glass is left half full. So I know that that was an indication they didn't really, they're politely trying it, but they don't really get it. That's okay. It, it, if you don't do it right, it does taste more like vinegar, and who wants to drink vinegar, even if it's healthy vinegar? So uh, I'm going to add some chia seeds and some of mine, and uh, I, I don't know, I just approximate it. Oh, but the thing I was going to say is that after you transfer this, you have to let this, this is, this is the second fertilization, or fermentation, not fertilization. So this was the first one where it sat like this. This has been about 10 days, something like that. And uh, then you have to let sit like another day, and then you put in the fridge and then you can enjoy it. But what happens is that after you transfer to there, there's like the same as there's like this little blob on the top, there becomes a little blob in here. So when you're drinking it, you start to have, at some point during your drink, you're gonna have this little blob that you have to either ingest or spit out. Well, you know, most of the time I'm drinking them around other people, I'm not going to spit it out. And then the song I'm used to it. And, but I think it has to be for people who like oysters. So, which I have tried oysters, which that's all I can say. I've tried them. It's not something I was, ooh, ooh, let me have some more. So, okay, so that's enough of the uh, chia seeds. So that just adds more gelatinous to it. And then, this is cool, I wanted to add uh, some, oh, 
uh, cue my Asian music here with the uh, kombucha. I forgot that. I was trying to be prepared here. So this is lychee and longan fruit. So this is the longan fruit, and then this is the lychee. They're all different sizes. But I thought that would be, they're kind of a fun thing to add. So here, you know, this is what I did before the showing here. So I peeled all these, which is not nice to peel. And then here's the, here's the fruit left. So it's all peeled. And it has, inside it has these pits. So here's the longan pit, and here's the lychee pit. But um, I actually I peeled some and cut it up. So now I've got Weechi Longin Editions. This was for the camera. I always, I always think it's fun when you watch cooking shows and I'm like, here, this took me 20 minutes to do, but for you, it only looks like it took me a minute. So I'm gonna add a bunch in here. And yeah, this is more stuff to like ingest, but it reminds me kind of like of the bubble tea because you get to choose something while you drink. So that was always kind of fun. Oh, and I have some mint from my garden. So uh, here's the mint and then I chop some up and I, I don't know, somehow I think that would be a nice addition. I don't know if, I don't know if these all the same, but I thought it would be kind of fun to have that. So I'm gonna do mint and longan fruit definitely in some of these, um, the other ones will be the chia. And you know, I've heard other people put stuff like jalapeno peppers or cayenne pepper. I don't know. I was like, I think I'm still in the phase of just wanting something that's relatively sweet. That sounds good to me. So, yeah, so I cut these just to little bite sized pieces. And so those will kind of add another little sugar source that the kombucha will feed on. And I'll go from there. So, there's that. Oh, and I have to do something with the kombucha while I'm preparing my next batch. So, in case you want to see, we're going to put it in its little environment here to hang out. So here, <laughs> here's the little guy. And he and I keep going from back and forth, so it gets bigger and then it gets smaller because of its. Oh, this looks really unappetizing. Wow, but it's good stuff. That's probably where the probiotics are all housed, straight in that jelly stuff. So I'll put them in this container. Not there, in case anyone's grossed out by that. I'll get that out of the way. And then this next part is just um, in here. So I, I kind of prefer to make my own because then I know exactly what I put into it. I will say it is kind of fun because it's your own creativity, my own brew. So yeah, so I'll bottle that up but I'll just do my little tea making process here. And there we are. So if you want to check back later, I'm going to make my next kombucha fermentation, which I'm going to do cream tea. Usually use a black tea, you can't use decaf tea, you have to use a black tea or white tea is what I've been usually doing. But green tea also is a nice, you know, different edge to it. Alright, signing off. Welcome back to Karen's Kombucha Caventure. So I was talking about how we make my own kombucha, how I make it, you're just watching me make it. But uh, as I said, this is our scoby and it's just sitting in some of the previous liquid. But now I've got to, if I want to start a new batch, here's what you do. So you do need a sugar source and I like to use just coconut sugar. Somehow it seems like it's healthier because it's not the uh, usual thing. Uh, this is my half cup, so I will go ahead and, so I, I get a four cup container, this is to make a half gallon, so I get four cup container and I'm going to have half a cup of sugar, and then I'm going to get three tea bags, but I'm not using tea bags, I'm going to, I'm going to make my green tea one, so this is just a container, but I have some of the, um, 
gem, gemma cha. <laughs> this is green tea roasted brown rice, and unfortunately, some of the brown rice popped. So I, I don't know if that's a little shifty, but I'll still use it. And then I have some uh, yerba mate in here, so I'm gonna do like a blend, and it's gonna be loose leaf, and then I'll strain it out. So. I'm gonna I usually use the equivalent of like three tea bags, but since the um, green tea tends to be a little bit lighter, I'm going to do maybe like four teaspoons total, which will be equivalent to the tea bags. I don't know. Actually, I think it's better if it is a little stronger, so push it in there. So I already heated up my water, so I'm gonna two cups of hot water and I'm just gonna fill it up to the two cup mark and then this is when you put on the timer to start steeping it and I will go ahead and stir it around so it's just sugar tea and water and that's the main thing and then once this has steeped enough i'm going to cool it down with some ice cubes strain it and i'm going to fill this up with the starter liquid and then i'll once it's cool <laughs> i don't want to boil my kombucha but i'll uh, my scoby but then i'll add that and then it gets set into a closet so my closet you want a dark space come so there's my little scoby space right there so it'll go right there and here's the other bottles that are just sort of doing their second fermentation and so i have that going on and that's about it that's pretty much the gist of it um is there anything else no i think the main thing is just you don't burn up your uh, scoby so that's how I make the uh, second batch, or actually the first batch to then, and then you have to let this sit for like a week, maybe 10 days, it just depends. This is the part I'm not totally sure about, but I've been enjoying my kombucha and hopefully it's helping me with some added probiotics. Did I mention that you have to put a t-shirt over top and have a rubber band to keep out any pests i didn't mention that and i didn't tell you that you steep the tea for about six minutes i know there's these details like if everyone really wanted to follow it but i guess i could post the recipe on my blog site if you really wanted to follow along since some of the cooking shows that's usually what they do okay <laughs>